Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. It's finally happening, update version 0.9.1 on Kusama, which enables parachains, has finally been shipped. Along with this, Gavin Wood, who is the founder of Polkadot on Kusama, has just tweeted out that the first parachain has been deployed on the West End permanent test net. West End has had the same updates deployed to it as Kusama has had. This demonstrates that the parachain capabilities are working on the protocol and Gavin himself has said that the next step is Kusama, as we know, and then Polkadot. Along with this, some of the parachain project teams have updated their communities on Discord and Telegram with specific channels dedicated to the Parachain Auction Crowdloan events. Now, if you guys have been following our channel, we previously made a video on how you guys can get prepared for this very moment, the Parachain Auction Crowdloans. We will quickly go over the absolute basics so that you can make sure that you have everything ready to participate in the parachain auction crowd loans. The first and most important thing you need to do guys is if your centralized exchange, which currently holds your Kusama tokens does not support the crowd loan participation, you need to move your KSM tokens off of that centralized exchange and onto polka.js. Now, of course, there are other wallets which will support crowdloan participation. However, we would recommend Polkadot.js. You guys need to do your own research and double check if your centralized exchange that holds your KSM tokens actually supports crowdloan participation. You guys should check the social media pages of the exchange and the support pages to check if they support the crowdloan participation. The reason this is important is the centralized exchange may limit KSM withdrawals if too many people start trying to withdraw KSM at the same time. The next thing you need to do guys is if you are currently staking your KSM in a validator node on the relay chain, you need to immediately unstake your KSM because the unstaking process takes seven days you will not be able to use those KSM tokens for seven days in the crowd loans because they will be locked up with this unstaking process. Number three is make sure that you are familiar with the crowd loan process and the bonding period. We previously made a video going over how the crowd loan process will work by using the Rokoku test net. So if you're not familiar, please go watch that video. And before you participate in the crowd loan with a project, double check what their bonding period will be. Some projects may have a six month bonding period while others may have a two year bonding period. Number four, become familiar with the projects. Find the projects that you like the most. And remember, look at the rewards that the projects are offering in return for you bonding your KSM and helping them secure a parachain slot. And finally guys, do not panic. There will be plenty of time to participate in the crowd loans. The Kusama development team, Web3 Foundation, and the individual parachain projects will update you guys on their social media pages for when the crowd loans are going to become live on Kusama. Additionally, the Polkadot Decoded Conference is next week between the 19th and 20th of May. So expect some bullish fundamental news to come from this event. Just spend the time in the next couple of days to go through steps one through four and make sure that you are ready so that you can participate very easily when the crowd loan becomes live. The last thing you want to do is be panicking when the auctions are live, thinking that you're going to miss out and then maybe make a mistake. For example, when transferring your KSM tokens from the centralized exchange to the Polkadot.js wallet, one mistake, you could lose your KSM. It's better to do stuff early, be prepared and do not panic. And that's it for this short video. 
we apologize for not providing as much content as we would have liked to, but we have been rather busy outside of this channel, unfortunately. However, we are actively developing new videos in the background for this channel, so stay tuned for that. Thanks guys, and see you next time.